Welcome to today's Daily Catch devotional. Um, I'm Jeremy, and uh, it's my pleasure to share with you something that God has put on my heart lately. Uh, uh, not too long ago, my, my Bible reading took me to uh, 2 Kings chapter 7. I'm going to read just a, a few verses from that chapter. Uh, but before I do, I want to give you the context. Um, there has been uh, an invasion, uh, the nation of Israel. Uh, is it has a its capital is now Samaria, and uh, there's a Syrian army that has surrounded Syria, and their strategy is to starve them out. Okay, so that's that's the situation. So there's famine in the city right now. Second Kings chapter seven verse three says, "Now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, Why are we sitting here until we die?" If we say we will enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live, and if they kill us, we shall only die. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. For the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear this noise of chariots and the noise of horses and the noise of a great army. So they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to attack us. Therefore they arose and fled at twilight and left the camp intact, their tents, their horses, and their donkeys, and they fled for their lives. And when these lepers came to the outskirts of the camp, they went into one tent and ate and drank and carried off from it silver and gold and clothing and went and hid them. And then they came back and entered another tent and carried some from there also and went and hid it. Then they said to one another, we are not doing right. This day is a day of good news and we remain silent. If we wait until morning light, some punishment will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, let us go and tell the king's whole household. And that's what they did. They went back to Samaria to tell everybody what had happened and how God had miraculously provided this victory. And uh, my challenge to you, the challenge that God put on my heart is to look at this verse and say, what's your city? What's that source of security uh, that, um, that, that the world promises? Because in this time, a city, a city was a place that was supposed to offer security but it had really become a place of death. It had become a trap. And the world offers all sorts of sources of security, success, money, relationships, but they can become traps. And these men, these four men, they were on the outskirts of that city and they said, well, we can go into this place that's not working for anybody else, or we can take a chance on something that's out there. And they take a chance on something that's out there and God provides a miraculous victory. And then the, when they experience that goodness, they look at each other and they say, it's not right for us to keep this all to ourselves. This is a day of good news. So the Bible teaches us that Jesus and his message to us, his death and victory over death on the cross is the good news. And it is outside of every system that this world offers. And so my challenge to myself is to not remain silent because it's not right for me to just sit here and enjoy the goodness of Christ and not tell other people about it. And if you don't know that goodness, my challenge to you is to not look towards your city, but to look towards the provision of God through the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the good news. Thank you for joining us. Have a blessed day.